so today we would be solving lead code question number 2008 that is maximum earnings from taxi so uh, what the question means is that we are given a driver and he drives from uh, various places various endpoints these five points he needs to cover these five points and we are given with uh, the person values like for example here we have two five and four that is for zeroth person we are having its start position its end position and the tip okay so if a if our driver drives this person this zeroth person from uh, start of two till end of five so the person that he is currently with the passenger so the passenger rewards our driver with five minus two plus the tip that is four okay and at each interval at each drive he can carry just one person like if he is going from two to five so he would carry only just this person he would not carry this person also okay so in this way if i just if the driver just carries this person so he would be uh, going from two up till five and he would be going from two up till 5 so the total and uh, would be having a tip of 4 so the total so that so the total so the total profit he would be getting from all of this would be 5 and minus start plus my tip so that equivalents to uh, 3 plus 4 and that is equals to 7 so we need to calculate that maximum amount of profit or dollars which he would be making from all of these rides and he can do a maximum he can cover a maximum of n points okay so I know that we need to cover all the cases that if he takes this ride if he does not takes this ride so this takes and does not takes leads us to recursion so trying out all the possible ways is when we call for recursion okay so i know that uh, we are having the start time the end the start position the end position the start position and the end position so it would be better for me to just sort all this so that I would be getting a clear understanding rights dot begin up till rights dot end so that I would now just be having all the start positions in their order and end positions likewise okay so I know I would be creating my answer function my answer function I would be passing my my rights vector of vector int ampersand rights and I would be playing with some indices so in that case I I know for now okay okay let us treat the base cases at the very end for now just see what we will do we would say that we are at a certain position okay we are at a certain position say 151 so I am now here to take a decision that will I take this person with me or not okay so long because I need to return because I need to return a long long so this would be a long long so long long take if I just take this then I if I just take this person then I need to then I need to add add up my end minus start okay so I would take I would say if you are taking this then just for now take and rides at i 
at 1 minus rides at i at 0 okay plus rides at i at 2 okay we did this now now we need to recur for our function once more but before that okay we i have answer i have rights sorry sorry i have rights and now i need to call for some index what will be that index will that be i plus 1 is that fruitful let us see let us first generate long long not take if i just don't take this index value then i would just be recurring for rights and i plus 1 okay that is so for sure if I would not be taking but if I would be taking okay if I would be taking then to which index I would be going which I, I would I be going to i plus 1 again if I would be going to i plus 1 again then that would recur for all, for all of the indexes that would just give us a TLE so I know that I have sorted my rides so I am pretty much very sure that my start positions are now sorted okay my start timings are now sorted I now just have to see or check for is my end time sorted and and to do that I know that I need to find that I need to find that start time that start time that start time which is greater than my previously taken end time okay which is greater than my I need to find that start time which is greater than my previously taken end time okay so for that I need to do a search and I know that if things are sorted in my 2d vector of rights I can pass on a binary search I can pass on a binary search let us for now just name it int find okay and I will be passing my vector of vector int ampersand events and I need to save from where till where okay so I need to have a start okay and I need to pass on what to find okay that what you really need to find just give it to me okay so I said int low is equals to start what I just passed int high is equals to events dot size sorry events sorry 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 rides let us name it rides rides dot size minus 1 that would be our end index and answer is equals to minus 1 for now answer would be containing our final index that we would, that we would be going at last okay while low is less than equal to high okay it says calculate a mid calculate a mid that would be containing low plus high by 2 and then check if rides at mid that is presently calculated index if that index is 0th or the start time is greater than or equal to 2 find okay that is my previous to find is my previous so I need to find a greater than or equal to value in accordance to my to find if that is greater than or equal to then this could be my possible answer answer is equals to mid and high is equals to mid minus 1 that is go on for checking a lower value else if this was not founded it was not found then there's only one condition that to make low is equals to mid plus 1 just increment my low to mid plus 1 okay 
and at the last return answer so why would why did we all did this because i need to find that index to which i'll recur after taking this value i said now that that i would i would take this person or i would not take this person if i would take this person and things are sorted in my rights vector so if i take this person then what will what would be the next person whom i should take i should take that next person whose start index is greater than my current person's current person's end index okay so i so for that i would be finding that next person using binary search because my because my rights rights vector is sorted okay so i would say int idx give me the index of that person whose uh start time of start position is greater than my current person's end position give me that so i would be calling find i would i would be passing rights rights and i would be passing i would be passing rights at i at 1 that is my current person's current person's current person's end time okay i said i i am giving you my current person's end time just give me that next person whose start time is greater than or equal to my current person's end time i just said this much and this function got me that index in which we i am having my start time greater than my previous person's end time greater than or equal to okay i am having that index so after taking this person after i take this person i am ready to take that person which satisfies my condition so i would say just take this person okay at the very next i would be taking this person only after this person rights is complete i would be taking this person okay that is pretty much very it and uh, take or not take and i would be saying return max of take comma not take okay and we would be we would be returning our answer function and what our answer function requires is rights and the starting index as zero i think we are good to go after this we would be memoizing rights at mid to finds f should be large okay i think this is it uh, okay we are we are not dealing with the base cases we are we have not yet dealt with the base cases okay sorry so according to you what would be the base cases if i goes if our index goes greater than equal to rights dot size then i should return a zero okay and if this index if we are not able to find anything then our answer would return a minus 1 so if i goes less than 0 then also I return a zero, and I think that is it. Okay, uh, okay. We need to pass a start. We need to pass a start. So our start would be, our start would be i plus one because, because from we we have got till i, and from i plus one we need to find. our next index okay i think that is it yeah this is accepted it took 0 milliseconds for the test cases to be passed and 
this would be a TLE yeah this showed a TLE because we have not yet memoized it now we are left with memoizing our solution so for memoizing our solution what we would do is just create a unordered map create a unordered unordered map of long long comma long long and let us name it as dp okay after all this i would be saying if dp dot find i is not equals to dp dot end then in that case return dp at i okay that is pretty much very it and uh, when we are returning our max i would say dp at i dp at i is equals to this much and uh, and i think we have uh, memoized it also if i just run this that is accepted that took 4 milliseconds but our final tle would be resolved as of now yeah that is it we solved this one this took uh, 822 milliseconds i think that is that is the least i can do or if there is a number which that is better than this then i would uh, be sharing it or if you guys have any such approach better than this then do share it in the comment section hope you like this video and please share your thoughts in the comment section and let's meet in the next one thank you very much for watching and bye